Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 we are working on module 2, lesson number 3, and our goal today is to be able to write and interpret numerical expressions and compare expressions using a visual model. So we will do that in a couple of different ways today. We'll think about math, we'll draw pictures of math, and we'll get you through your homework tonight, okay? So let's take a look at one of our problems tonight. First problem, problem number 1, draw a model. Then, write the numerical expressions. So let's see. Hmm. Draw a model. I'm going to look at 1C. Let's see. What does 1C say? It says 2 times the difference between 49.5 and 37.5. So let's see. 2 times the difference. So we've got to take the difference at some point, and then it looks like we're going to have two copies of that difference. So I'm going to draw it this way. Let's see. I'm going to draw this as 49... 5 minus 37.5, 37.5, 49.5 minus 37.5, and then we have two exact copies of that, right, because we've got two times the difference, right, so there's the difference, 49.5 minus 37.5, and there's the difference, so let's see, then we want to look at the numerical expression, okay, so two times, two times the difference of 49.5 minus 37.5. Two times the difference, right? We figure out the difference and we take two times that. So there we go. There's the difference here in parentheses. Here's the difference here in a visual model. All right? So let's take um, these other problems that I'll let you go ahead and take a crack at. Um, they're different types. Um, I'll say that the first two are more similar to the ones that we just did. This one is a little more different, um, but don't overthink it. All right? Draw a model. See if it meets the, the definition of what, the, uh, what was stated in the expression, and then adjust as necessary, okay? Let's take a look at one more problem. Problem number two, we're gonna write the numerical expression in words and then solve. Oh, okay, so let's look at 1C. 1C asks us, let's see, in parentheses, we've got 71 plus 29, and then we, once we figure that out, we multiply it by 26. So in words, I would say we need to add 71 plus 20, and, well, 71 and 29, and then multiply by 26. Okay? So let's see if we can figure out below here. I'm going to do the math here, here in this bottom area. Let's see. So 71 plus 29, okay, well, 71 plus 29, let's go ahead and do that addition. 71 plus 29, if we can't do it mentally, we'll say in the ones, we're going to add 9 ones plus 1 one, that's 10 ones. 10 ones we record as 0 ones and a 10, recording under. And then we have 7 tens plus 2 tens plus one more 10 is 10 tens. Oh, 100. Oh, maybe I should have been able to see that. All right, we're going to take that addition, right, I see. So that's this part, right, that's the 100. And then we're going to multiply it by 26. Oh, well, that's easy, right? We take 26, and we've got how many tens? 1, 2. 1, 2. 26 copies of 100 is the same as 2,600. Tremendous. All right. Again, the other problems in here are, are pretty simple. Uh, go ahead and describe them in words, and then go ahead and do math if you need to on the side or down here below, and figure out the value of the expression. Let's do one last problem tonight, see if we can help you with that. Let's, let's do number three. Compare the two expressions using greater than, less than, or equal to. In the space beneath each pair of expressions, explain how you can compare without calculating. Draw a model if it helps you. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to do 3B. 3B. Let's see. I'm looking at this side. This is 61 times 25, and this is 60 25s minus 125. So it's all about the 25s. Huh. Okay, well, I know what this is, right? This is, I can express that in words. I can say... Um, this is 61 copies of 25, right? This is 61 copies of 25. What is this on the right-hand side? Well, it's 60 copies of 25 minus one copy of 20. Well, that's 59 copies of 25. I'm going to say this is 59 copies of 25. And I, even if I don't, can't figure this out exactly, I know that 61 copies of a positive number like 25 and f is bigger than 59 copies of 25. So I know that this is bigger because there are more copies of 25 over here. 
In fact, I know exactly how much bigger, right? There's two extra copies of 25. So I know that this is bigger. I'm going to just put this in below. Bigger by 50, right? 61 copies of 25, 59 copies of 25, two copies of 25 bigger over here. Two copies of 25 is 50. So it didn't even ask for this, but I'm going to go bonus on them and say, I know this is, the left-hand side is bigger, and I know exactly how much it's bigger by 50. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I will see you tomorrow with another homework assignment. Take care. Bye-bye.